what is up you amazing person watching this video right now yes you you today's the final one this is the fifth anime like i said it's gonna be one every day till friday mushoku tensei monday jujutsu kaisen tuesday unlock undead wednesday castlevania although it's not an anime it's just drawn in the same style that'll be for thursday and then this new one free run beyond journey's end came up on my feed on my crunchyroll i'm gonna check it out i have no idea what it's about it seems cool from some of the pictures that i saw it looked like it had really good animation style I than that i have no clue so this is going to be a blind taste test let's jump into it also if you like this video give it a like and if you like anime why not hit the subscription and obviously you know notification bell goes with the subscription because you know you want to keep up to date but anyways let's waste no more time let's just jump straight into it let's go why not at the northmost end of the continent i arrived at a place that the people of this world called heaven or Orioli. Many souls gather there, and I spoke with friends who once fought alongside me. Flema, the legendary mage. Okay, so we've got your typical magic, which I like. Very interesting art style. So that's Freerun. The real capitals in Soap. So there's adventurers, there's mages, there's warriors, your typical. We've defeated the demon king, but it's not over. Okay. <laughs> something where i can drink on the job but he's a priest <laughs> okay beyond journey's end i don't know for some reason i'm intrigued maybe it's because of the actual anime style that i know it's probably going to be some great fight scenes you know i love the good fight scene and it's only five episodes in so you know i get to stay up to date and release weekly i wanted to do two episodes but i can't right now so next week i'll do two Oh, so she's a mage. Okay, so we started off with them already doing something big, like defeating the Demon King. Oh, so they got the whole festival thrown for them. This honestly looks like a movie. That's how good the quality is. They're getting statues as well. <laughs> wow, 10 copper coins. So she doesn't feel that the pay was enough for what they did. A corrupt priest. There's a trend. I mean, I spoke about it in Castlevania yesterday. Check out that episode. 10 years on the journey. So are they going to be doing a flashback of this moment? When nearly executed for speaking rudely to the king. Haita is the priest, I take it. You're as pallid as, as an undead. Oh, mimic. Wow, like in Elden Ring. Obviously, the bond that's created is so solid. A mere 10 year. So that's Haita, the priest, like I said. Then we've got Freerun. What's the other? Oh, what is that? A shooting star. Meteors. What is this about? Oh, so it's a meteor shower. I've actually seen a meteor in real life. Yes, meteor shower. Once every 50 years. It's so beautiful, actually, just the scene itself. Don't <laughs> spoil the mood. She seems so, I don't know, annoyed. Every 50 years, that's what he said, right? So I'm thinking that something was laying dormant for 50 years and now the meteor shower is gonna awaken it. I don't know, that's just, I'm just making stuff up. Oh, she's gotta go. Continue collecting spells for the next 100 years or so. So she's, obviously her age, she can age long. Oh wow, they don't even know how old she is. Oh my goodness, so that's the thing. That's crazy, right? Beyond journey's end, okay? So this is like almost like saying what, what happens after your whole quest is complete, right? But then she could meet these same people and they can be old men and die of old age. Oh, levitation. Do you know what I mean? The things that she can see and then come back is like crazy. And so no wonder she's like depressed because all the friends you've ever met is probably dead already. Like you can only ever go on one quest with them. Shadow dragon horns. Need one for summoning. I wonder if she's gonna try to get an actual dragon. I think Himmel still has the horn we got at the demon continent oh my gosh so it's been 50 years it's like i was saying it's literally like i was saying they're gonna be old people now and she'll probably even go on a journey with like their children you know what i mean that will probably be her next group 
Oh my goodness. An old man. That's the dwarf guy. Or not. Oh, he has the same eyes as the other one. You have to put it so bluntly. Oh my goodness. And he's even like shrunk. Wow. That hits deep. That's crazy. My dear friend. Because you don't know how old she is. You literally don't know. She could be 2,000 years old. That's the thing. It's all about... Oh my goodness. There's the statue. You see, he was way taller than her. I'm guessing priest is drunk. I mean, drunk. <laughs> Dead. That's why everything to her is like a drag. You know? Like, he's like, oh, it reminds me of that time from back then. But then you're like, that was like the other day. The bishop of a holy city. Wait, how come he looks so good? So a dwarf can also age quite long. Wait, but I don't understand how come that other guy aged so terribly. <gasps> Is it maybe the the dragon, the shadow dragon horn? Is that the thing that aged him? I'm very confused. Unless the, the priest isn't a normal human being. Or unless because he's in this high position, he's been able to live a better life, I'm guessing. I wonder what creatures they're go there's gonna be in these things wow giant dogs oh destroyed this is low-key kind of sad you know you know he's holding on to these memories because that's what you do when you age right it's all you have at the end but for her it's, she's probably known thousands millions hundreds of thousands of people Don't tell me he's gonna die right here. Oh wow, he did. It's a very interesting concept, that's for sure. I just don't understand how he was so old. He looked like the youngest, but maybe I'm wrong. How heartless. <laughs> he's still the same, even though he's this in this high position. But this, what was his name? Himmel. He looks like he's got a smile on his face. It's not like I knew anything about him. A mere 10 years. Think about it. If 10 years to her, let's just say it's like a day, right? Just one day. And you met people for one day. And then they passed away. There wouldn't be any connection to them. It's like, what? We just I met you for one day. What? Now I'm crying at you. You want me to cry at your funeral type of thing. So that's how you have to look at it. But it is pretty sad though. Because it's opening up that perspective to her. Wow, last time I'll probably see you. It's divine punishment. Offer a drink at my grave. Wow, this is like, this is actually kind of sad, to be honest. Like, not sad in like a depressing way, but just this is the nature of time. You corrupt priest. Wow, man, that's actually... I'm too old to swing an axe now, but he looks the same. Well, it's got the emotional connection, that's for sure. I'm already emotionally connected to the show now. She did cry at the funeral, though, so it's not like she should feel that bad. Episode 1, The Journey's End. 20 years after the death of Himmel the Hero. Oh, that was too fast. Oh my gosh, this is probably his daughter or something. Oh, but this is only 20 years after. A war orphan from the southern land. An apprentice. So this is going to be interesting if she goes with her because now she's going to be able to see a whole life of someone. She'd only get in my way. Unearthed from the tomb of Egwig Sage. Resurrection and immortality. Kick her up, priest. So she's actually going to teach her. I can barely detect her manner. Interesting. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa, she's pretty powerful. So she doesn't even really like magic. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So that was that. Freerun Beyond Journey's End. Very interesting. I can definitely tell it would have been good to jump into the second episode. Although I can't right now, which is all good. We got to see Freerun, who's this elf who doesn't seem to age. And she could be thousands of years old. We saw Aizen, who was the dwarf, one of her companions, who traveled with her for 10 years, as well as Hater and Himmel. Himmel died of old age because he's just a normal human being. So it's very interesting to see and that kind of 
opened up her mind a bit because you know to her 10 years isn't much but for us humans obviously if you travel with someone for 10 years that that becomes your friend and i think that is what hit her and why she wanted to go and understand humans more because maybe she feels that she just let this time pass but it's important for them and now we see her meet this girl Finn through the corrupt priest and who seems to have incredible magic at such a young age not much other than that happened but really really intense emotionally i was i was really i was really captured emotionally very early on just with the concept of what they're talking about and actually how precious time really is i like the way the animation is drawn of course and we'll just have to see what else happens but anyways that's going to be it for me if you like the video hit the like subscribe if you want to see the rest of it obviously notification bell so that you can keep up to date with it and that's going to be it for me i'll catch you next week for mushoku tensei episode three i think it was anyways i'm out Peace. In a bit.